Once I got saved, I wasn't in the clubs no more. Whatever you do to her, I'm gonna do to you. I feel like I can touch the people who are from where I'm from. I can do all things through Christ. I would have four or five women at the same time. I was somewhat of a playboy slash kind of, I really call myself a pimp because I didn't really have no chicks working the streets. Why Bob? Considering all the Extra. baby mamas. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna get real. <laughs> I think his overall outlook on just life yeah. and how positive he is. We've gained some really great friends. Sean Stockman of Boy to Men is one of my really good friends. Me and my wife are friends with him and his wife. Sharonda, uh, we hang out, we go to their benefits. And that's all they do is giggle and kiki and you know, they sleep when they want, they eat when they want. And the kids get up in the morning, they're not tugging on daddy, they're tugging on <laughs> On mom. you, exactly. Yeah, talking I'm about I'm hungry. Out. These are our people. I'm part of the greatest selling R&B group of all time. I sold 65 Five million records and broke more records than any group, black or white, in the history of music. The singer, the songwriter, the producer, the musician, the actor. I'm Tank, and I'm the gift. Why is your daughter's all raggedy like that? A stripper won't even take that. Now listen, listen, listen. The reason why is because I pull it out a lot. <laughs> I put it back in. <laughs> I pull the money out a lot. I'm a man with wife and kids. They got my money anyway. I battle with with the idea of marriage. I've tried to find it. I've sought I've it. Tried to find what, though? I've tried to find monogamy. I've looked for him. <laughs> Is he a oh, person? Monogamy. <laughs> monogamy. <laughs> Not monogamy. Not Lucky, no touchy. I did not know the extent of his past. Um, when I did meet him, it was quite an experience. When I wasn't saved, I honored him by trying to be him. And now that I'm saved, I just honor him by loving him no matter what. My late mother-in-law, Lynn Newt, I think was the pillar of their family. She never saw me with my wedding ring. I kind of told her over the phone she was really hurt. And then like a week later, like she passed away. I got six kids. My one son, Andrew, he is a homosexual, and that's one of the hardest things that I ever had to deal with in my whole life. Because I don't really know if I should talk to him like a, like a woman or a, a man, I don't know. I'm here for him, but we're not gonna have conversations about his relationship, we're just not gonna do that. The thing that I worry about with Ronnie is that with all of her anger and her not knowing the love of a father, that she will look for it in other places and continue to get herself hurt. I am Ronnie Simone Newt, I am the daughter of Robert New. She out in LA, she dating gangbangers and you know, all these little bum songwriters and you know, different cats like that. So I really have to give her the game even more so. And then there's Jordan. Who is a year younger than us. And then I got a five year old. Guess who's coming to visit? Who? Papa Ron. Papa. <laughs> He's gonna come see us. I'm building up my gun collection for her. My name is Robert Clint Jr., AKA BJ, BJ the manager. Part of, I tell them, you know, keep your condoms on. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to be attached to these women that you ain't going to be with for 18 years. I had always been the sleazy R&B singer. Bob, you've been nominated three times for a Grammy. Trust me, I told him I can really go. The transition from secular or worldly music to gospel music was, was a big deal for me. To be honest, the only reason I still do music is because I feel like I have a story to tell. I have a testimony. The music that I'm doing is gonna be something completely new because of where I come from. I'm from the R&B world. My daddy was a pimp. I'm basically a street dude who didn't come up in church. Right, right. But I want my music to be completely spirit-filled, but not, you know, the, the traditional. Like, so you wanna do more like, um... A Christian pimp. <laughs> <laughs> it's frustrating because I would think that with all the connections that I have, all the friends that I have, you know, and success that I have had in this business, that it would be easier to connect the dots. It's like a good rendition of somebody else. He's like, well, is he ready to quit sports? I was like, no. And he's like, well, he ain't ready to get down in. He ain't really ready, and I ain't really gonna help him. In my opinion, I think that's bull crap. But then, you know, but now at this point. He gonna say, Uncle you know, Jay, go get, get me a feature. He gonna say, Uncle Jay. And I'm not gonna do it. If that was his son, I would just help him, because that's his son. Coming up, we didn't have any of these plans. 
There, was, there were no plans. Just my dad was hoping we was gonna be famous. Like I'm passing the torch to you. I ain't right. almost like you. I'm like you. I got what kids else? with real talent. And this is the new testament. Coming soon to the Impact Network, the urban inspirational voice.